Number four, be diligent, but also ask for mercy. Whatever it is that God has blessed you with today, it's not just because you are diligent. It's because of the mercy of God. There are people that are working 10 times harder than you and yet cannot even feed themselves. A good example that I like to use from time to time is that when you see people who sell on the road, they are, they are hawking things on the road. From money, early money, they are running altar. They are running like this. As somebody who is in the Olympics, going like this, going like this, from morning till night. And yet, still can't survive. It's not the, about your effort. It's good to make effort. But you need God to bless that effort with mercy. I pray for you. May God bless the labor of your hands. In Agai chapter 1 verse 6, you will see that you can labor and it can come to nothing without the mercy of God. God looked at his people and said, can you see what is happening? You sown so much and you bring in you bring in little. It's not for lack of effort. You are working hard but there is nothing to show. Not much to show for it. He said, look, you, you even drink and yet you are still thirsty. <laughs> You clothe yourself and yet you are still not warm. Put differently. Even the things you are looking for, you get and you are still not happy. That's another way to put it. Everything you are looking for, you got and you still you are not satisfied. It's the mercy of God. It's the mercy of God that makes the difference. I prophesy upon your life. The mercy of God that brings satisfaction, that brings fulfillment. May God grant unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 